What is up guys, welcome to another video. Now today is a very, very special video for me and once again I'm gonna say it, I'm excited. <laughs> Everything I do to this car I'm excited about, obviously. But today, this, uh, this exhaust system is going. So I've actually already sold the back box and we're taking the whole exhaust system off and I've actually bought myself a Skunk 2 uh, Mega Power R exhaust system for the EP3. Now this is already on Ant's car who owns the white uh, EP3 Type R which is absolutely nuts. It pops and bangs. A few of you might have seen it on my story the other day. It's absolutely nuts but he's on his way back uh, from picking up his other exhaust. So what we're going to do we're going to take we're going to jack the car up take this exhaust off and then hopefully by that time and has come back from picking his exhaust up i know it's confusing and then we can put the skunk 2 on this one now fingers crossed it all comes off because we're, like, we're doing this on a driveway we've not got a ramp or anything but i'm really excited for this now at the minute the ep3 it it doesn't sound <sighs> as race car these sound a lot like race cars when they're when they're under load and they sound really nice coming past you on the motorway and stuff like that and this one just doesn't it's just a little bit of a droning noise because obviously it's only got the back box delete so i'm hoping today that'll fix that and it'll be such a nice sounding car and i'll just i'll just like it a lot more now i've got the rear seats in as you all know but i'm thinking of taking them out but i wasn't going to take them out until today uh, just so i know how loud this exhaust is going to be so I'm going to jack the car up, turn the car around, jack the car up and uh, try and get this exhaust off. Now the back box, obviously, we uh, I put this aftermarket M2 back box on. That'll come off really easy because we've already loosened them bolts. But the, the mid pipe, I'm not actually too sure how easy that's going to come off. So there's only one way to find out and that's cracking on. So let's do it. Okay, so this is before. Before. Get that jacked up, my guy. Use actual stands, Lee. I've read your comment section. <laughs> yeah, never use actual stands, waste of time. <laughs> so, after about jacking the car up about seven times, <laughs> we got there in the end. We're only going to jack this side up. Uh, we've got it on an actual stand just in case it does fall. But the only problem that we will run into is uh, the bolts. WD the fuck up. Uh, for the cat, obviously, where the mid pipe meets the cat. That's the only problem we're going to run into. Uh, apart from that, I think the rest of it should be fairly fairly straightforward so we're going to wd the f out of them and uh if not um phil says screw fixes around the corner so we can go get some more bolts if they snap right. but just it, blast it each it, side blast it each side oh they might be 12s actually can we get a 12 please Look at the pea shooting on it. Man. Saying that, what what wraps have you got? Three eight. Uh, uh, half inch. Well, we have a thirteen and a half. I don't think we do. Oh wait. Oh. No, we don't have a thirteen and a half. Smell WD. I just don't think it gripped it very well then. Why do I got a feeling they're 11? Shouldn't be. Unless it's 10, but it's just got a load of dirt on it. You still got the 10 there. Okay, so we're picking the video up a little bit later. Now, the start of this video didn't really go to plan. One, we couldn't get my exhaust off because the bolts are completely seized. And two, the guy that Ant was buying his, um, his exhaust off, Ant's the guy that's got my Skunk 2 system. Um, the guy that he was buying that system off uh, was really late and was messing him around a little bit. So pretty much um, I went home, dropped Lee off, and I'm going back to Preston now to pick the system up. It's off his car now and he's gave me the bolt. So what we're gonna do is tomorrow morning we're gonna get up, uh, well, I'm gonna get up, and we're gonna go to Performance Northwest. They've got a, they've got a lift I can use there. Uh, just grind my, just grind the system I've got off now, just grind that off and uh, just slap the Skunk 2 system on. So that's the plan. We're currently on the uh, on the way to Ant's house to pick up the system. And yeah, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I've got about 20 minutes left to Preston. And yeah, we're gonna pick the exhaust up. How you doing, man? <laughs> you get your system in the end. Here's a sexy little back box. 
mate, it's massive, isn't it? <laughs> Once again, massive shout out to Ant. I cannot wait to get this thing gone. It's TDI North on, looks really good. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'll pick the video up uh, once we head off to Performance Northwest in the morning. I'm so excited, finally get a full exhaust system on this beast and it's gonna sound proper now because there is a little bit of an exhaust leak at the minute. So uh, that'll finally be gone. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the morning ready to install the exhaust. We made it down to Performance Northwest. Hopefully I can uh, sort of ramp out and uh, get this exhaust on now. I'm doing this on my own, uh, Lee's a bit busy. Uh, so hopefully I can do it. I've never done anything like this before. I've just got to try and grind them bolts off, like I said, and get the other rigs up. Once, once the old system's off, then the new system should be quite easy to put on. But yeah, huge shout out to Performance Northwest for this. Please go drop them a follow on Instagram uh, for any work you need doing. Uh, these are the guys that do it. They literally do everything. So yeah, he's literally came down here on a Sunday, opened up for me. He's going to leave me with the keys to, uh, to hopefully fit this exhaust. So yeah, wish me luck, boys. I've never done anything like this, like I said. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Hopefully she's uh, not going to be stubborn. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can't wait. So yeah, the bit we're running into is this part here. As you can see, it's all corroded and it's just not looking very happy for itself. So <sighs> I think it's gonna be a grinding, that's literally just, just, just knackered. So we're gonna see what we can do. As soon as that's off, it should be quite easy to put that one on, I think. Let me just line it up. Right, this should be fun. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. where I'd do it. <laughs> Okay, while Lee's finishing grinding that bolt off, I'm going to go ahead and take my back box off. Now, a lot of people are going to say, am I selling this? It's already actually sold. Uh, I've already sold it to a guy down in Nottingham, so yeah. I'm going to take that off now and hopefully it should be straightforward from there. Happy days. I'm excited now. What are you doing? I am currently taking all the silicone off. Ready to put some, as Lee calls it, gum gum um, around the seals. I knew that. So this is a sound test of a cat back delete, <laughs> I like to call it. Not that loud. Loud as hell. It smells as well. Okay, so the next job is to get the rubber hanger off my original mid pipe and put it on the new one. So I'm not looking forward to this, but it should be should be easy. I'm hoping. I don't know. Okay, so it's on. Next move, I've got to take the back box off. Now these hangers are quite stiff, so I'm going to try and find some WD-40 dotted around here and hopefully get that off. So we've got pretty much the majority of it on. The only the only downfall is this is all bent here, the gasket for the for the cat. Now I don't I really don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off and try and sort something out. But in the end I'm gonna get a four to one manifold anyway so it'll be decatted soon. Um it just means it's probably gonna be blowing a lot. It'll sound like hmm. but that's it's not showing. the exhaust, that's that though. So I'll just have to, the next thing I'll buy will be a manifold. So that's probably going to be the next video. But we, uh, we're going well with the back box. Ooh, watch that, don't fall on your head. The back box and the mid pipe, or centre pipe, whatever you like to call it, are connected now. That is all ready to go. So this is what it's going to look like from behind, or this is what it does look like. So it's relatively similar to the M2 back box. It's the same, uh, it's the same size tip. The only difference is obviously this pipe is a 2.75 inch all the way through instead of obviously the little pea shooter that used to be on it. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a look at this. I might have to ring Lee 
uh, or someone in a bit to give me a hand because this uh, is just yeah I was probably not pointing the camera at it the whole time but what I was saying is I'm probably gonna have to get some help with this because it's a bit of a mess and I've not got a clue of how to go about this maybe I'll just have to put one bolt in I know I'll have a blowing exhaust and it will sound shocking oops but I think for now that's all we can do um, yeah I'll put the camera down and I'll uh, yeah I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna try and figure out how I can sort that mess all right so I have looked for a decap pipe and uh, I'm getting to buy one of them that's literally it. the next thing I've ordered uh, I think for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a good crack at this before I ordered before I do order one of them so what I'm thinking is grind the bolt off as small as I can get it and then just do my best to drill it out because at this point I've got nothing to lose so if it goes wrong it goes wrong but yeah grind them off and drill them out is what I'm hoping so I'm gonna give that a go and I'll update you boys in a minute I managed to get that one in and it's better that I know it's, it's still gonna have an exhaust leak I know that uh, but for, for why I haven't got a decat It. So why I haven't got a decat, there's not much I can do. Because um, I, I got told that the studs that were in here that I just had to grind out were actually, they're half studs and half threads, so that's why they don't come out very easy, or at all. So yeah, I'm gonna hopefully get this one in now, and we should be good at that. It shouldn't, actually, even with that one, it's looking good, so. This is where at the minute, that bolt's in really tight. That one's in as tight as I can get it. I'm going to I'm going to start the car and see what it's like. Like I said, it's only temporary and I'm a bit gutted. I mean, I know a lot of you guys have probably known how to do that a lot better than me, but I've not got really much experience in grinding stuff and putting this and that, but we'll see what the car sounds like anyway. I'm done. We literally got here at like 11 o'clock this morning. It's now half past six and I'm knackered. So what I've done is, like I said, it's a bit of a bodge job and it does not look pretty whatsoever. I agree with everyone that's about to comment it, but um, that's what it looks like for now. I've just put some, some paste around it. Uh, some exhaust putty or whatever you want to call it put that around it hopefully it doesn't leak too much but yeah i'm going to order a decat and then sort it from there i'm going to go ahead and tidy all my shit up and then we're going to head out and see what it sounds like right let's uh let's listen to the damage i'm not expecting this to sound nice in the slightest and it's going to be so embarrassing driving around but we're going to see what's up double check You know what, actually, yeah, but the sound's coming out of the back mostly, isn't it? That's better than what it was. If you stand here, look, you can't hear much of the exhaust leak. Can you? It doesn't sound like it's blowing from underneath. Oh, no, not actually, that's, that's, that is not bad at all. Now, obviously, the Skunk 2 system is loud as it is. Obviously, I heard it on Ant's car, and it really is loud. So, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with myself there. I'm not going to lie. It's actually not that bad now. I haven't actually drove yet. I've just reversed it out, obviously. But it's not too bad. It's just naturally a loud exhaust and there's not much of a blow uh, coming from the underneath middle, obviously, cat part that I had the problem with. So yeah, I think obviously when I get a decal or when I get some sort of downpipe for this, it'll just sound that little bit better. And yeah, it does sound quite nice to be fair. It's, it's very, it's, it's now a deep sound. Whereas before when I tried it a couple of times, when I was having the problem, it was very high pitched, like fart, typical Honda kind of noise as you boys would call it. But no, now it sounds like quite nice and deep and it's good, man, it's good. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, pack up everything, head home and uh, get some clips of us driving back and see what it sounds like. Oh my God, it's pretty loud. I think obviously it's a lot louder in here because of the little exhaust leak.
it is very very loud inside the car which i'm think i'm crossing my fingers it's just the um the leak coming from underneath because obviously it's, it's kind of a little bit unbearable in there because it is loud but it looks good and it does sound good obviously from the back you'd have seen by the um by the clips i haven't actually looked at them yet i haven't put them on my computer but they sounded okay through the camera but yeah it looks good and uh, i quite like it so if anyone knows if this adds any horsepower or what horsepower it adds then just let me know i'm not expecting it to really but a few people have said it could add it could add a little bit so yeah anyway i'm going to go ahead and end the video there if you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace